Greetings, it is Max so Diddly here, and today I am here with another C Sharp tutorial to help you get an A in your coursework or exam. And today we're here with how to get user input in a C Sharp console application. So let's get right into it. Firstly, we have got a console.write line statement, and it's and it just says please provide your name. Console.write line uh, simply just prints out to the screen whatever is in the brackets. Then we're going to do string name equals console.readline. What's going on here? Well, we've created a string variable called name, and we're going to assign it to whatever the user writes on this line in the console. Then when the user hits enter, that value is assigned to name, and the user has told the computer their name. Then we're going to do console.writeLine hi plus name to show how we can use that variable. Then we do console.readline down here to stop the program from terminating. Let's hit save and hit play. Please provide your name. Well, my name is... Diddles. And it says hi Diddles. And that's the program. So, let's say we also want to get the user's name. So, we'll keep the first two lines. Then we'll do console.writeLine name plus comma, please give us your age. And then we do string age input equals console dot read line, which is all fine and dandy. This is going to work and I'll show you it in action. We provide Max as the name, we can do 69 and nothing bad happens. But what if we wanted the user to input an actual number? Well, we can do that. So if you want an explanation on how you validate an integer, click the eye up in the corner, I have a whole tutorial. But we are just going to use this validate integer function here to show how we can use our, our input that the user types in to validate stuff. So this works with all of my tutorials that I have ever posted. What we can do is we can do if check int age input. We can do console.writeLine thanks Else console dot right line oi I asked for an age ya cheeky bugger, and then we can do our console dot read line down here, and obviously this uh, function here literally just returns a true or a false. So what we can do is we can call our function name, which is check int, and then in the brackets we put the the string which contains the value the user has inputted. So let's hit play and see what happens. Please provide your name, Max. Please provide your age. 69. Thanks. So this works, but let's try if we put in something that's not a number. So we're going to put Max as the name and we're going to put Max as the age because we're stupid and can't read. And it says, Oi, I asked for a name, ya cheeky bugger. And that's it for this tutorial. Hopefully it helped. Just to show how you can get user input and how you can use that user input in a function. So it can work with all of my tutorials if it because my tutorials don't go over how to get user input. Here's the tutorial for you. Hopefully this has helped. Thanks for being a great audience, and I'll see you next time.